Got the manifold. Got the 14 alpha. Two units. Uh, this guy right here. Low on refrigerant. Now what I'm gonna do today is just do a simple, uh, I'm just gonna charge it. I already know I got a leak. I'm not trying to get, you know, get on the other side. I'm just gonna go to the low section side. Go to the section side and just charge it. Maybe put a pound or so in, something like that. You know, I already got my, uh, uh, I already got my, I mean, ring locks or whatever you call them. Got those off. They have like a little, like a, a little Allen key in there. Like a little small baby Allen or whatever in there that you have to take off. So if you see those on there, you know, you might want to take those off like that. So you got your high side, you know, obviously for a more concentrated thing, that's your high side. You got this big fat line, that's your low side. It's pretty obvious, high and low. So I'm going to charge, I'm gonna charge on my low side and I'm going to put some uh, some leak saber in here. My, my, um, my, uh, tank is full so i got a scale and uh i'm going to put i'm going to have it up higher you know gravity so it can fall down to go to my uh, low side while i'm charging so my ac unit is off as you can see and uh, we're gonna get to it so right here, I'm connecting my blue hose to the low side service port. Make sure you're quick and confident while connecting to avoid minimum blowback from the refrigerant. Do the same when you're connecting the yellow hose to the refrigerant. As stated before, make sure all knobs on the manifold are closed. So now I got everything hooked up. I turned my AC unit back on. Um, so you can see the condenser fan is running. The condenser itself is running. This is the condenser. I got my, like I said, I'm just charging from the low side. I'm not doing anything with the high side. I have my 410, 410 Apple. Got that hooked up. I got my leak saver going on right here. So let's, uh, let's do it. So what I'm doing right now, I'm going up to about 130 PSI on the low side, and I'm doing it in little, little bit, little small increments. So I'm putting in about two ounces, one to two ounces per per go. It's a slow process, but it's the best way to do it. If you do it too fast, you may run into problems, some different sounds and things of that sort. But it's a slow process. You keep going. Um, keep watching your scale. Keep watching your scale and watching your watching your pounds drop. Your um watching it drop. So you're gonna open that low side valve till it reaches about 130. You're gonna close it and then repeat. You just you don't want to introduce that refrigerant into the system too fast and um, it, it'll cause all kind of problems, explosion, all kind of things like that. I knew that I was about two pounds short because my AC unit was blowing complete hot air. So I knew that a pound wouldn't put me in danger of overcharging the unit. You know, you can bump it up a little bit higher as far as the PSI, you probably go up to about 150. I would not recommend it. I'm always on the safe side of things. 130 for me, it feels pretty comfortable, pretty safe. And I'll do that until I get, I'm probably about two pounds shy. I'll do that until I get that weight in there and, and go from there. So if you put all your refrigerant in, now when you turn that unit off and now you go outside to take the lines off, first thing you want to do is that 
you want to burp the lines. All your manifold knobs are closed. Now you're going to burp the lines like you see me doing right now. I ended up putting about a pound and change inside, about 18 ounces. I am EPA certified, but I don't work in the HVAC field. But I've had to charge humans before, and but and this has always just kind of worked out for me, you know. So it's something that I kind of do. I just charge at the low side a lot of times. I didn't want to overcomplicate this video, but this is something that has worked for me many times before. Not claiming to be an expert, I'm just saying what I did, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Round fixer out.